Hello, and welcome to another episode of Killer Ant Reviews. Uh, it has been quite a while since I actually viewed anything. Uh, a lot of stuff has been going on in my life. Uh, pretty, pretty much, uh, I'm, a, I'm definitely in a better place, but also a little bit of procrastination. And I also, also got a little bit of a block towards this, but I've gotten some recent comments. Uh, on some of my books saying that they love the reviews, even though it's pretty much as low budget as it can get, basically a small webcam and the book on my desk. Um, I got actually decided to come back into this just because I read actually this book right here. Together They Fall by Matthew J. and I think I'm going to mispronounce this. Uh, cr crutch? Uh, what's interesting is about this author uh, the author has cerebral palsy. I actually was browsing social media and I came across this guy promoting his own book. And I felt it was interesting, so I decided to buy it. And honestly, I was presently surprised it was actually a decent book. There's definitely some flaws, though. But overall, um, I, I love the world building. And I absolutely love what he's done. And... He, he did it, did it through multiple uh, through multiple like viewpoints. Uh, the main character being like an elf captain who is like investigating like a series of murders involving thirteen people, and she comes across like comes across someone who's been using a sort of like a cube to gain power with its goal of like trying to resurrect his family, and but he kills a lot of people on the way. You get those two viewpoints, and they get the viewpoint of. A princess who her entire goal is to overthrow her mother and exile the blue and orange elves and actually they actually establish that there's three colors there's purple there's blue and there's orange and she's extremely racist against those to the point that she even complains when she hires an assassin who has it who's not purple skin color and she and she's like, why am I working with this guy? Like, she is absolutely probably the most insufferable villain I've ever seen. And I absolutely hate her. And I and that's what the and that's what the author was going for, which I was getting kind of pissed off reading this, but I'm like, oh. It's not like it's not like most villains where it's like, oh, I'm gonna twist the mustache and just act evil for no reason. And then you're just like, yeah, I don't really hate you. This one I actually do hate. And overall, like I said, the characters are great. The storytelling is great. It's not a very long book. It's about it's about two hundred and nineteen pages. It's uh, I guess it's for like more of like young adults. But I also picked it up just because because the guy has cerebral palsy and it's his first book, which I actually thought was really cool. So no matter what, with your disability, you can go and and get your own. Uh, you could actually make your own book. He actually had help from his mother and his grandmother, which I felt was really, really cool. And the fact that his book actually increased in popularity after someone found a social media post and shared it, and I actually found it online on like a Reddit book place. I like to always browse it just to see if there's like any good books that's worth reading. So I always felt that was, that was cool. Um, so my major, major complaint about this uh, doesn't take away from like the the beginning and middle, and even partway through the third act, but I definitely think the ending was way too rushed. Because after almost going up as, as a slow build and building up to something, it's just oh, that's it, time skip. Um, the, yeah, I did not really like like the ending. I just felt like the felt like it could have been like given another like thirty or forty pages to explain everything. And that was a huge pro problem for me. I'm like, oh my god, you, it's, just, it's like you have like, it's like in gymnastics, you do such a great job and then you fail to stick the landing. Um, but it doesn't take away that the fact that this is the, this is the guy's first book. And I was, I was really into it reading the whole thing. So that's actually good. Um, if he does make like an, if he does come out with a sequel, which I really hope he does, it definitely it definitely hit it as a sequel. That there's a sequel coming. And and I just hope like the next one he improves on the mistakes that he made in this one. 
and that would actually be pretty awesome. I don't want to go into like the full plot because there's a lot of stuff going on in this book. And it says multiple viewpoints. It's not just the viewpoints of those three. There's also the viewpoint of the queen, which her daughter's trying to get rid of her. And there's also viewpoints of different pe people who are like observing us. So what would I give this book? Um, a solid seven out of five. If it stuck the landing, it would have it would have been like an eight point five or nine. Uh, but at the same time, I don't actually hate this book. I actually highly recommend it to anyone who loves fantasy. And I really hope that like, the next book there is a lot more world building because they did hit at like other other nations, like the other nations of humans, which they said is what more warlike. So I hope they kind of explore that in the future. And uh, and continue to like explore these characters. So oh so overall, um if if the author actually does see this review, great absolutely great job. I I actually love this book and next and whenever you come out with a se sequel to it, I'm gonna definitely pick it up, read it, and review it. So nice job. Until next time, I'm going to try to make a few, a uh, bunch more videos. Hopefully, in the next few months, uh, once I actually get the, once I actually get the time, I've been pretty busy. So until next time, this is Killer Ant.